What's up YouTube, welcome back to this channel where we practice SQL interview questions. Today we have an easy one from LeetCode, LeetCode 584, find customer referee. This one's part of SQL 50 LeetCode study plan with 50 basic SQL questions to start with. It's part of the select section. Let's get into it. As I said, this one's called find customer referee. Referee as in someone that referred someone when making a purchase and not a referee in a football match or whatever. We have a table called customer, as we often have, with an ID, a name, and a referee ID of the person that referred a customer. Our task is to find the name of the customer that are not referred by the customer with ID number two. So apparently ID two did a bunch of referrals and we want to find anyone that wasn't referred by ID two. We should return the result table in any order and our input and output data looks as follows. So we have the ID, an actual name, just the first name, and then a referee ID. So we have referee ID 2 in there, which referred Alex to make a purchase and Mark to make a purchase. We also have referee ID 1 in there, but we also have null values for the referee. So it could be the case that there was just no referee when making the purchase, which is quite common actually, I guess. Yeah, so that information is also stored in there, which makes it tricky and which is something we need to work around. So the output here would be Will, Jane, Bill and Zach, which are names of the customer that made the purchase. So we want their name, not their ID or anything, which weren't referred by custom ID with number two. So going through the table, we have this purchase being referred by ID2 and this one, so three and six. So just gonna output row one, two, four, and five, but only the name, and we get Will, Jane, Bill, and Zach. So that's how we get the output. Perfect. So let's get into it. Let's think about what to do here. Basically, we want to just replicate what I just said in terms of bringing that into SQL code. So we are going to select the name since that is the only output column we need from this table customer. And now we need to express that customers were not referred by the customer ID with number two. So we're going to say where referee ID is not equal to two doesn't equal to. So equal to, you would write it this way. Not equal, you can do that by adding an exclamation mark before the equal operator, and that will make it not to. Or another way of writing it I saw was just using that lower than, greater than as a combination to express not equal. I find that confusing. I don't like that I'm using this one, but you can do you, of course. So I run this, but we need to keep in mind that we wanted to look out for something, which is handing these null values. So now if I run this, I actually get a Zach only as an output because Zach had that purchase, which was referred by ID one, so not ID two. And why is that our only output? So this is the only entry that had someone that referred the purchase but or the customer but not id2 so it's the only entry where there's a referee id that is not two the other entries are either id2 or they have null values so we someone need to handle the null values so actually what happens here i want to show that is that something you should really know is that whenever you make a comparison with null in SQL, it's going to return null because you couldn't make the comparison because null stands for not having a value, missing value, and a missing null. So let's say we want to select null equals to that operation, that check. So does null equal to? It doesn't. So you might have expected it to say false because it's not two, but it's going to evaluate to null because we couldn't even make the comparison. 
So if we do null doesn't equal to, it's also going to give us null and not false or anything. So that's what happened here. Now, if we go back to the code for the solution we had, we say referee ID should not equal to. So it should be pretty much false that it is two, if you can follow. If we compare it to two, it should give us false. And it doesn't give us false for the null values, it gives us null because any comparison with null gives us null. So in order to handle that, we would have to say referee ID is null or referee ID is two to get our result. And that would be accepted. Or another way to do it is to just handle that null value with a function. So we could say coalesce referee ID zero. That should not equal to. So this is a wrapper function, coalesce, that takes a value. And if it is null, we assign a specific value, which we specify here after the comma in the same function. So if refer ID is null, we just make it zero. And then if we compare it to two, it will give us false because zero does not equal two. And we can make that comparison. If it was null, we wouldn't be able to make the comparison and it would evaluate to null. So this works. Um, I'm gonna run it here to prove that. There's another function called if null, which might be easier to remember because of it just doing exactly what it says. So if referee ID is null, and then we take that other value and then make the comparison. So these are really the three main solutions for me. And yeah, I'm just gonna submit one of them and it's going to be accepted. It's gonna be it. Always be sure to check your input data for null values. Maybe here it would have been better to actually first just output all columns to see what happens with that null and what you have in the output for the other columns, uh, for the referee ID to see what happened. But apart from that, that's gonna be it for that question. It was marked as easy, but I liked it because it has that catch, which kind of anyone could stumble over or just find themselves not paying attention to. Yeah, so that's a good question. I'm gonna go through all the other SQL 50 study plan questions on here. I have a playlist, we'll go through all of them. Also have playlists for easy, medium and hard questions on lead code overall and another one from Strata Stretch where I go through specific company tech questions. Yes, you should check out the links down below if you wanna follow my LinkedIn, if you wanna get a Strata Stretch subscription via my link or anything else. And I'll also have the link to that question in there so you can give it a try. It's really for me today. See you all next time. Bye-bye.